Hey everyone, I've tried to film this intro I think three times now, but things have just been so crazy busy. As you know, I'm currently over in the UK. If you watched my last vlog, you will have seen that we spent the first week in isolation. I actually tested positive for COVID, then mum and Lily, and yeah, it's been an interesting start to the trip, but the last few days have been back to normal, which has been really nice, but I've just been enjoying spending time with family. And I thought I'd pick up the camera again today because, well, I feel like everything's kind of back to normal now. Mum's out of ISO, Lily and I are out of ISO. So I thought right now would be a good time to whip out the camera because Lily and I have decided that we want to host a little dinner party for all the family. And we were like, it could be fun just to cook. And we thought we'd do it themed. So we're going to be making a bunch of Italian food. So we've got rigatoni pasta. We're going to make the Hailey Bieber vodka pasta. Although, to be honest, it's not really... Wait, I keep calling it Hailey Bieber. Yeah. It's Gigi Hadid. Gigi Hadid vodka pasta. It's not even that. It's just a recipe we found in the safari and it's just being extra. Yeah, but apparently you just don't want to follow the TikTok recipe. No, okay. Just because it's vodka pasta doesn't mean it's Bella Hadid. Gigi Hadid. Whatever. It doesn't mean that it's <laughs> her pasta. Yeah, I know. But vodka like... pasta was invented by her. Okay. So All right. People are going to get tell you off. I know. Everyone told me off when we made Anna Paul fries. They're like, it's not Anna Paul fries, but I'm like, yeah, but we followed her recipe. So. But we're not following. Okay, well, we're not following Gigi's recipe, so it's not her pasta. But we are making vodka pasta. We're also making a salad. We're going to make a rocket, pear, and parmesan salad, some bruschetta, and then tiramisu, which will be good. And we're going to do it dairy free because we have quite a lot of. <laughs> dairy-free people in the household and everything's going to be vegetarian as well so yeah that's the plan and we have quite a big family so we're gonna make them a lot of food fun lily and i literally spent about an hour walking around the supermarket trying to find everything didn't we we don't even like we didn't even get that many ingredients but just because we couldn't find anything yeah for so long. we're just not used to shopping Shit. like one together someone gets a little bit bossy um because you just um, no, I'm not bad at shopping, but anyway, we got there in the end. We got everything. So anyway, what are we doing now? I'm um, so breaking the egg yolks from the egg whites. Oh, we starting the tiramisu. Okay. Starting for the dessert because then we're just going to cook it and then, I mean, not cook it because it's like cook. We're going to make it and then just put it in the fridge. Yeah. Tiramisu and then we can do the salad. <laughs> Volleyball? No. Tennis ball? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. This is the sort of thing that you put inside like a remote controller. Battery. So that's, yeah. <laughs> what you measure things with, you know, in your pencil case at school, you've got a rubber. Ruler. Ruler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I just talked about that the, the batteries are in. The remote right. control. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what Ella had just now. A uh, that thing! <laughs> Press the camera! Yeah! Okay! Okay, come on, T. You ready? Go! go. Uh, kind of like a hamster. A gerbil. Gerbil. Guinea no, pig. yeah. Okay. Uh, kind of, kind of like... <laughs> has a long neck and a shell. <laughs> a a turtle toy. toy! No, no, no. Turtle toy! Yeah. Okay. What? Uh, or... with what? Ah! Ah! No, no, no. I don't care. Eat it! Chicken! Chicken! Or can I say kind of like, I don't know. And stop! <laughs> I don't know where that was. That was good. That was good. Very good. Very good. I knew that was Bye, they're going. Peace out. Peace out, guys. Watch my sort of cool outro. Love you all. Love you. Bye. Bye. 
I still feel so disorientated about the time, even though we've been in England for like a week now. Like it's 10 p.m. right now and it doesn't feel like it is. I feel so confused. I feel like our body clock has just not quite got used to English time yet, but yeah, I'm ready to go to sleep. We've had such a busy night. It was so much fun. The Italian themed dinner was actually a success. Everyone loved Lily's tiramisu. It was so good. And the vodka pasta was really good too, but it was quite coconutty because we used coconut cream because we made a dairy free version. The salad was also amazing and the bruschetta. And yeah, it was a really nice night. We also played some games. We played Articulate, which was really fun. And then Evie and her boyfriend actually had to say goodbye because they're heading back their place in Cornwall so yeah it's so crazy that like you know we're already saying bye to them because it feels like we only just got here but we're kind of packing in seeing our family members this trip it's definitely like more of a family holiday but I feel like I made that clear to you guys before we went on the trip like this trip is just filled up with catching up with relatives so yeah it was sad to say bye to Evie and Terry but I know we've got a busy few days coming up with other family members and stuff so yeah I'm gonna go to sleep now and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow Good morning. Oh. Say hi, Mengi. Hello. Hiya. <laughs> We're just going to feed the ducks. We're feeding I the ducks. Duck is by going to breakfast. Hey, little ducky. There you go. There you We're just go. going for a little walk along the canal on the way to breakfast. So, as you guys know, we actually came to England for Mengi's 80th birthday, yes, which we've had that. now. <laughs> How'd you feel? Oh, yeah, I same. wish it was still at my party day. I want another party yeah. day. <laughs> Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Are you gonna eat one? Yeah. Well, blackberries or a raspberry? Blackberries. There's loads of them. Wait, are these all blackberries or are they raspberries and blackberries? No. These are the blackberries that are not ripe yet. Oh. You have to wait till they're black and then you can eat them. If you no. eat a really black one, Ella, they're sweet. What one should I have? have a Maybe big, are these? Big these? Black one. That one? Yeah, go on for that one. That's okay. it. That's Probably right when they come off easy to. <gasps> Sour. <laughs> Not sweet. Sour. Quite nice though. So funny, like we grew up around here, but I did not know that all of these walking tracks existed. We're currently just in the middle of a field. I don't even know it existed. Morning, it's a new day. I've snuck away for a little bit so I can do my makeup and catch up with you guys. I've been really trying to master the five minute like clean girl makeup since I've been here because to be honest, it's been so crazy busy. Like we've been doing social things every single day, seeing different family members, but we've also been quite fatigued since obviously we have jet lag and then also getting over COVID has made us quite tired as well. So our sleep schedule has been a little bit all over the place. So we've been sleeping in and kind of getting ready very last minute. So I've had to kind of master doing my makeup really quickly, but honestly, I've been really liking a minimal makeup look anyway. So I thought I would talk you guys through it. I'm going to start off with primer and I'm actually not going to put any foundation or concealer on, but I still like to put primer on sometimes just to kind of fill in my pores. I find that it just kind of like blurs everything a little bit. I mainly just focus this on my nose and like in my pores and kind of like press up to fill them in. Now for brows, this is the one thing that I put a bit more time into because I feel like when I do my brows nicely and just tidy them up a little bit, it can really transform a makeup look. So this is the Benefit Gimme Brow and Volumizing Pencil, which I absolutely love. I have the shade 2.5. It works perfectly for my hair color, but they do have 12 different shades to choose from. And I really like this pencil because well, one, you've got the pencil side and then you've also got the spoolie to help brush it up. But it just applies so nicely to my brow hairs. It blends in really well. Like, honestly, you can't see that you're wearing product. I've tried out brow products before where it's like it will adhere to your skin but not the hair and it just looks a bit of a mess. But this adheres really well to both the skin and the hair. It's actually the first ever brow pencil to have both powder and fibers in it. And the fibers are what gives your brows a really nice volume and just the texture as well. It's 
also a water resistant formula and it's transfer proof and will last up to 12 hours so basically this won't be going anywhere and I find using a brow gel with this product as well works really well so I'll just brush my brows up afterwards to lock them in place and it gives them like a really nice lifted look now for bronzer I'm just popping a little bit of hula on I'm just gonna bronze up my cheeks guys i'm really really excited to be working with benefit over the next few videos as you know whenever i've shown like my makeup looks before you will have seen that i already use benefit brow products and i've been using their mascaras for years i just absolutely adore benefit so i'm really really excited to be working with them and i'm just gonna pop on a little bit of blush this is just in a really nice peachy shade so yeah i just wanted to take a second to say thank you to benefit for sponsoring this video if you guys want to check out any of the products i'll have them linked in my description box honestly i think i'm just gonna leave it there sometimes i'll pop a bit of mascara on but i'm in a bit of a rush at the moment because i've got to head to the train station in a minute because i'm actually going to lancaster today with lily to go and see our cousins we're going to see our cousins rosie and francis they live in lancaster because they're studying there so we're gonna go stay with our cousin Rosie and yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun so yeah I think I'm just gonna finish off by popping on a little bit of this like tinted lip balm and I feel like I don't need much of this on I've already got a little bit of lip balm on but I'm just gonna dab this over my lips to give it a bit of color okay so that's my quick minimal everyday makeup look as you can tell I didn't do too much but honestly I don't have time for much more and I actually really like the way this looks and I feel like the brows have really pulled everything together so that is it and I guess I will see you guys in Lancaster <laughs> we've made it to Hello. Lancaster we're with our cousins Rosie and Fran um yeah Hello. this is, I think this explains everything <laughs> that we're doing right now <laughs> honestly we've been together like how many hours off. now not too long we're already we're here like about 12. 12. Oh, okay. We're together like oh, five so hours. Six, yeah. Six hours. Oh my god, think... it's already six o'clock. We're going out. We're going seven. out. Huh? We're going out in like <gasps> an hour and twenty minutes. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Oh, We've washed our hair. We've put the hair mask in. We've got the face mask on. We're watching the home videos. We've got the Bucks Fizz. Or what do you call them? Yeah. Bucks Fizz yeah. mimosas in Australia, and we're going out for dinner very soon. But. I just was like, I need to whip out the camera because we look so funny right now. We look scary. I should have filmed when we were washing our hair in the bath. <laughs> yeah. All four of us took it in turns to so like off, lie back oh. and wash our hair. Okay, mine's coming off. Okay. It was so. Uh, oh, but also, how does your skin feel? we were just all laughing because Ooh, we were trying to take selfies. No. But we're, this is me smiling. <laughs> it does I'm not look. doing it justice. We, I feel like the camera made us look so silly. Oh, that actually feels Every great. time I take a drink, I'm like trying to like make a filter with my teeth in case a fly egg is just <laughs> swallow once. I'm like, you're exposing my fly problem to like the whole internet. <laughs> I'm like, this is so well. so I'm like, oh, it was in the bottle. Do you remember? There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't know why, why she swallowed a fly. fly. Perhaps she'll, she'll die. die. I don't know what to say. Lily had a fly sense. in her drink. <laughs> and Fran had a one drink. Ooh, I need blue nose. This really quite soft. Okay, we're playing hairdressers. Uh, we went and bought some hair products. We've done the hair mask, got some hair mousse from Lee Stafford. And I feel like I see everyone on TikTok using these hair mousses. Like it's a thing to do before you do a blowout now. So I'm going to test it also, on Rosie's hair. Also for your slick back buns and stuff. Oh yeah, people wear yeah. that. They're like, shh, for slick back. Yeah, people put quite a lot on as well, I feel like. Don't you reckon? Don't put too much because you can always put more, but... <laughs> give a shake, give a shake. Okay, <laughs> ready? Do you do Don't it, do like... too much. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I think you should rub it in now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's 4, it's 420 and I just said good morning. I'm still so confused, but we've had such a nice day. We went for a swim just before and now we're out for a roast. This is our last Sunday before we go home. We're like, we need to have like a Sunday roast. But usually you guys go to this place called Toby the Carberry, don't you? Yeah. Girls is round here. But we tried to get in, but like it's so packed, so 
we found this nice little pub by the sea. It's really cute. Um, and we're all just gonna get a classic roast, aren't we? That's the plan. This is the Can view. The classic right English here. red bus. Where are we, by the way? We should go by the Red Bull. Malta Beach. Near Lancaster. Near Lancaster. This is actually insane. We've got potatoes. Some is this like sweet potato batch? Or like carrot carrot and, carrot, carrot and what? Sweet. Sweet? What's sweet? Some type of potato. What is sweet? Mm. Yeah. Carrot and sweet mash. Yum. Yorkshire. Cauliflower cheese. We've got some sausages, stuffing, all of the meat under there. We've got beef, is that turkey, and oh. wait, we've got beef, turkey, and pork. Hello, hello. It's the next day. We're out at a family dinner. This is my cousin Thomas. I'm sure we've got quite a few people who want to be in the vlog. Jess, do you want to come in it? Okay, hold on. Hi guys. Add me on Instagram, Jessica May. I wanted to whip out the camera because we've got our dinner and it's in a cool little box. Yeah. So that's hey guys. <laughs> Um, Why does the sky look blue? It's actually dark. It's not daytime. No, Ella, look. It actually is kind of blue. It looks like it's the middle of the day, but it's nighttime right now. Why are we holding hands? I don't know, because you're holding my roof finger. Do you think we look alike? And we're out of focus. Wait, hold on. Do you see the family resemblance? It's funny. Maybe in the hair. But Maybe in the hair. I think you do look like your mom. Um, actually, yeah. You, you guys are more tanned. Yeah, but to be fair, which is weird because we're fair, from his Australia. Mom, yeah. His mum looks like our mum, so yeah, it's very strange. Like your mum looks like our mum, but they're not related. <laughs> Do you not think they kind of look similar? Like, I mean, I think it's the hair. I don't know. No. And we're trying to convince. Yeah, we and we're trying to convince them to move over to Australia at the moment. So I don't think we're going to Tom, Tom is probably. We just need to get independent. Right. This is the time. This is the time. Capsule. We're saying it here. Oh, You're coming to Australia. Oh, yeah. 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 You're coming to Australia, Jack. Yeah, I'm going to Australia. <laughs> Okay, I finally have a moment to kind of sit down and catch you guys up on things because this vlog has been so here, there, everywhere, which is sometimes my favorite kind of vlogs because I'm not really telling you what's going on. I'm actually showing you the experience. But yeah, as you can tell, I've been spending a lot of really good quality time with my family. I've honestly not even been on social media at all this whole trip. Like I haven't posted anything, which is a good and bad thing. Like I feel bad not like updating you guys and of course I love posting on socials but I do feel like this is a break that I've really needed and it's allowed me to just like really focus on being here with my family because I really don't see them very often. The last time I saw everyone before this trip was four years ago so I've been really trying to soak up this time and I can't believe today is our last full day so we actually head home tomorrow night but it's been very busy considering that like the first week was a bit of a write-off because we all had COVID. I'm just currently waiting for everyone to finish getting ready because we're going for lunch. I haven't even had breakfast today. I feel like my body clock since being over here has been so off. Like I've been eating at random times. I've been sleeping at random times. It's been strange and I feel very exhausted to be honest, but I had a really nice sleep in this morning. I slept till like 10 a.m. So I'm feeling a bit more refreshed because honestly this trip, I feel like I've been just surviving off of lack of sleep. Also, I, I realized I never even showed you guys my finger or updated you after I got the stitches out. I wanna go ahead without the army got there. Okay. I don't know if you heard that mum saying we should go ahead without her. I swear like this whole trip we're always running late just because like there's so many of us in one house and we're all sharing the bathroom. But yeah, I'll get going in a second, but this is how my finger's looking. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's scabbing over now. I never actually showed you guys what it looked like at the time when I cut it open, just because, you know, not everyone wants to see that, but like this is looking a lot better now. And it's so nice that I can actually do stuff with my hand because when we first arrived, it was all bandaged up and mum was having to change the bandaging like every couple of days for me because I wasn't allowed to get it wet, but that was really difficult and I kept getting it wet. But now that the stitches are out, everything is looking a lot better. Anyway, that's my update for now. 
better get going so we don't leave my auntie waiting too long at lunch. It is a bit later and I feel like this whole vlog has revolved around food because to be honest, English food's amazing. Like love the roasts, love the fish and chips, love the snacks. I also just like miss it a lot, you know? I've ticked the roast off the bucket list. And then fish and chips is one of the things that I've been really wanting to have since we've arrived. We're gonna go and get fish and chips now and relax. The fish and chips in the UK is a little bit different as well because one, they have mushy peas and people often put vinegar on their chips, which I know some Australians find really strange. Like they're like, what? Well, why would you put vinegar on your chips? But I promise you it's actually good. But yeah, I was like, we need to get fish and chips on our last night because we haven't yet done that. And I feel like it's a must when you come to the UK. This is what the fish and chips looks like. The chips are a bit different to Aussie better. chips. Then we have the mushy peas which I feel like some people like, some people don't like, you know, but we love mushy peas. 